to Shiva, Vishnu, and Vishnu. Welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Indian Game Campaign. Indian Campaign! Where, guys, as you guys know, we are rapidly heating up at the very end of the game. Yeah. We rapidly heat up for very exciting episodes at the, like, the very end of the game, which does kind of make, make me just slightly a bit mad. But I really don't care, because you know what? This is good enough of a finale for me. So... Guys, basically this episode is I was thinking what I should do, and what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to declare war on my old friends of China. You know, we're old buddies, we're old friends, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to acquire a state from them. Or what I could try to do is, actually, you know, it would actually be cheaper to do this. I was going to try, because I'm just, what well, basically guys I'm trying to do, if you guys don't know, is I'm trying to link up my land over here, that way I'll make sure I have land access over here, because I just don't want to leave these guys all by themselves, and have to constantly rely on the Russians. Oh, and by the way, we are the number one militaristic power in the world, and it's because of our massive army. I mean, how big are we compared to everyone else? Yeah, we just basically double everyone, not even the Russians, the Soviet Union! Sorry guys, sorry to all those historic nerds, these are the Soviet Union, can beat me. Which is awesome. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll do a Kazas Belai against Gunzai. Just demand concession against them. But do I really want to make... But Gunzai's my friend. Like, I'm, I'm actively trying to make them my in my sphere of influence. So that we can, you know, become bros. You know. Uh, you know, I'll just go against China. China's more my enemy anyways. I mean, who does not hate China in this game? Honestly. Honestly. So yeah, and then our economy right now is just... Right now it's not booming. Wait, give it a second. Oh yeah, we have to calculate. For some reason, every time when you re-enter a game, it always has to recalculate everything. So it's it's a little bit annoying, I'll admit it, right now. And then rebellions happening over here. I'm happy that the rebels are, ta are taking active participants in trying to bring down all these governments. It helps me out a lot. And, you know, with this massive army, guys, I don't know what we should do. Because it's just so massive. I mean, there are times when I think that we have surpassed even the greats. We have 75 million people, guys. 75 male population. Our total population. I bet it's in, like, the billions. How much is our total population? Okay, not quite the billions. But still, humongous. With all this new wealth that we're finding, equal opportunities. Let us forgive. Equal rail opportunities. Now we get more railroads. I mean, right now, this is just expansion. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to restart this. Shoot. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to... I'm going to say that was about five minutes. I'm not, I'm not too good at my math here, but I'll say it's about five minute head start. And... Because uh, I am trying to standardize my videos a little bit better. Because I know in the past I have been very, very bad about that. So, yeah, let me also put, let me also put time up because we don't really have to be doing anything while we're, while we're increasing everything. We can start working on other factory stuff. Um, hopefully, hopefully what I'm hoping is that, I'm going to go down to like, four speed. What I'm hoping is that the capitalists will start getting their butt into gear. Like, seriously, I've been waiting for the capitalists to get their butt into gear to like, start building all my factories. I mean, my country is like, perfect now. With my low taxation, with my equal rights to no one, this is a perfect economy. Oh, and somebody did suggest this, and I will have to do this, because this is what my plan was all along. A lot of you guys didn't know this, but I was actually going to go to the union party. Yep. <laughs> this was my plan all along, but the problem is, is that we don't, let me see. A government form does not allow capital. Why? Let me see. What kind of methods meetings allow? Oh, I see. We still don't allow state unions or trade unions or anything like that. Political parties. Ah, I see. All right. But yeah, that was kind of my idea of all along is to go towards fascism. In fact, if you guys remember, I did hint it about one of my videos. So eventually we will be going towards that. I'll be helping my Bunai people expand their railroads because I'm just such a generous dude right now. Expand my plateau, expand over there. I mean, look at all this expansion. Gosh, I mean, this makes up for everything that happened in the beginning episodes. Especially that. <laughs> Especially that. And you see, just like, everyone just comes back to me. It's like, 
this is what I love about this, is that every nation comes back to me eventually. Which is like the greatest feeling of all. And I'm getting such a big cap. I mean, we're not even capped out and we're already like, just soaring. Okay, now somebody finally surpassed me probably because they realized, oh shoot, James, you're big. Let's see, who surpassed me in terms of power? It was not the Russians. America? What? Where did they? Okay, that's cheap. They did. They did not just have that a minute ago. They. You guys all saw that. That was not there a minute ago. But it does not matter. My economy is just bustling right now. And these guys aren't going to be no threat to me at all. I mean, we know. We we all know that they they're just going to be crushed by my powerful army. Uh, yeah, China, 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 China. You guys are just all going to about to feel my wrath after years and years of. Not really careful planning, but final revenge. Okay, wait. Okay, seems like we have actually some rebellions. Don't understand that, because I'm actually a pretty nice dude in this campaign. Okay, we're going to move this army over here to kind of protect myself. And as you can see, rebellions are killing off some of my smaller troops. You guys go... Try to go save these guys. Um, you guys go hunt the rebels. You guys know what to do. Yeah, you guys have been in this situation before. You guys know what to do. Well, let me see. <gasps> yes! Okay, they do count as artillery. Yes! Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> off screen, guys, I did build a couple units. And I wasn't exactly sure, or I could not remember entirely, what exactly um, tanks counted as. I know, I know. I should be an expert on this game already. But for some reason, it was escaping me to what tanks counted as. So, it... Now that I remember, we now know. They count as they count as artillery, and I'm gonna need What the heck are you guys doing? Go hunt down all the rebels. Seriously, this isn't a farm. We all we all pitch in, we all helped each other. Actually that does sound like a farm. What am I talking about? What kind of what kind of place do I think a farm is? It's a place where you just lounge about and all the animals just run freely and all you do is just sit there and grope about society and how and how the rich kids always steal your yarn and tip over your cows. That's what a farm feels like to me. Wow, James, you really gotta get a better definition of a farm. Anyone else agree? Or, yeah, I think everyone else agrees that that's not the best definition of a farm. Alright, airplane, support. Does that mean, oh, Japur just changed his government. Does that mean I get to conquer it? Because that'd be really nice. Another state that I can conquer and then just get out. Let's see, you guys actually free? No, you guys are not actually free. Like, they're kind of free, but they're not actually free. They're one of those kind of states. And why are the communists being joined? What did I do to the communists? Seriously, I want to know. Like, what did I do to make them so angry? Besides not allowing them to ever vote vote in any elections. Besides that, what did I ever do to them? <laughs> oh, that sounds so terrible. Okay, so my troops right here will be right here. He'll go back to mainland because I don't know how to actually guard an island. Let's go. Um, over here we have lots of just crazily big. Let's do it! Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Exactly what I mean. This is like one of the few gaming things I've ever found in this game that isn't technically a cheat. Like I'm not cheating, people. This is just like I, I feel like I have to limit my power just a little bit. I'll. As soon as I'm done with this war with China, I think I'll slightly limit myself in how much I can actually use that, because that is basically a cheat. Oh my goodness, but it's a great cheat, if you must know. We, we, we'll be all... No one's going to be mad at me for using it. And are you in my land? Oh, wait, wait. Are those rebels in my land? What you doing? What you doing, boy? You know that's private property by the state of... By the state of India. You know, we don't allow that sort of behavior over here. You know, we weren't born in the barn. Okay, and it seems like my other vassals are going to need some help. They can't take down some of the rebel problems. Alright, alright, okay, so... Alright, so next we have to do is create massive amounts of tanks. I bet a lot of you guys are thinking, Well, James, that seems like a very, very ambiguous thing. Yes, it does. Massive amounts of tanks, everyone. Holy shoot, that's a little bit way I didn't want this much. Okay, yeah, let's let's cancel all that construction. Okay. Double handedness. Double handedness. Come on. Okay, if I I probably need about a hundred. 
Because I have about as many soldiers as I do tanks. Okay. Uh, I'll stop at 70. Because I'm about... Yeah, seven armies. Sh that should be about as many tanks as we need. Okay. And that's our massive order of tanks. And now China is back to being... Communist? Oh my goodness, this is like... What the heck has happened to my world? I'm surrounded by two communist nations. Except in this world... Oh, the Manchurians woke up again. Yay! Go Mongolia. Go Mongolia. You guys are my heroes, because now I'm starting to like... Oh my goodness, like... This is just crazy. China, you guys have become communist. Wow. That's just... Wow. I mean, I'm not ever going to become communist because I'm a pretty big and powerful nation. Not going to lie. Okay, now let's go. Let's go kill those commies, everyone. Because remember, you kill a commie for your mommy. Oh, yeah. If only those were the days. Okay. Get, declare war, a quiet state. Wait, what do I need? I need that little state right there. Just connect this. Disconnecting. Okay, it is the f Eastern Hubei. So Eastern Hubei, we're going to rip up China a new one. Eastern Hubei, there it is. Call in allies. I don't think any, likely, likely, very likely. Yeah, yeah, I think, oh yeah, and I got alliance with France now. Oh shoot, that's not good because then Germany, well actually Germany's, Germany's never going to fight me now. Let's, let's be real here. Germany is going to be a complete another pushover. Just like me. I'm, well, I'm not going to be a pushover. I mean, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> I was going somewhere, but my brain kind of lost where it was going. Seems like the British are trying to help out a little bit. That's good, Britain. You guys should help out. You guys usually cause a lot of my troubles. Okay, I'm going to need one more army, by the way, over here to go help conquer the, another part of China. Okay. And the rest of you guys, go get the rest Go get the rest of Europe underneath. Oh, not Europe. Get the rest of my states underneath my control. Oh, my goodness. And I'm seriously tempted to go to war with India. Okay, and we have a lot of big armies, a lot of big armies right next to me. Luckily, I have lots and lots of soldiers, like tons of soldiers. Like, we we are great at handling these kind of situations. Just like, okay, we, we're outnumbered. That's okay, we have gas attacks. I mean, seriously, I could probably kill a lot of their rebels for them, but I don't want to. I, oh, shoot, I just, okay, let's see how we do. Yeah, we are just slaughtering all their rebels. All their rebels have no chance. Oh shoot, I don't want to clean up this. I don't want to clean up their problem. I'm kind of having fun just watching China burn. Wait, don't clean up the rebels. Oh shoot, I think we're going to clean up the rebels. All right, well. Then what I'm going to try to do, we're going to clean up the rest of the rebels. Is, can I take just, let's see, what is this? Henan. Henan. If I could take Henan, I'd be happy. Uh, but wait, we don't have, dang it. I could sign the Geneva Convention. No. Dang. If we, if we could take Henin, that means we basically divide China all the way to the coast. Which means, look at that. We just gain, like, an extra good amount of population. And I think we gain, no, we do not. We don't, I just remember, we do not gain the biggest, we do not gain the biggest land producers or the biggest precious metals producers ever. Which does stink. And I better start... My economy's starting to have a little bit of lapsy. Is it because of subsidizing? new? No. I don't know what is it because, but my subsidi my problems on my economy. Have to you have to remember to keep growing your economy. That's one thing I keep forgetting about. This is going quite rapidly. By the way, how many foreign investors do we have now? Like, you guys better be. I better have thousands of capitalists by now. Let's see. Wow, you guys are the thousands of capitalists I've been waiting for. Seriously, that is lame. Okay, and we still got more and more people circulating into all these areas. Oh my goodness, this is like crazy. I mean, we're not even... We're, I'm not even like... This is seriously not even me managing most of this anymore. This is like mostly the capitalists doing this. Which is awesome. And we have lots of negative money. Probably because we're at war. That's probably it. Like, if I had to guess the main problem of why we're having so much difficulty, it's probably because we're at war. Okay. I seriously want to take East Henin for at least someone. Uh, like, I don't know. It would, it would just, it would just like complete my empire over here, though. Just like my final stab at China. But I can't take the infamy. I, I know, I know, as powerful as I am, 
I know it's kind of like a false, I know it's like a false, um, power. I, you guys all understand that, don't you? It's all like a false power. I mean, I know in the bottom of my heart that if it really came down to it, I'd probably have difficulty fighting all these people. Wait, Russia's going against me? No, China's just finally getting organized because I just defeated the Kamini rebels. Oh, that's good. Time to go destroy the only forces they have. You guys ready? Here comes the Chinese last stand! I am... Wow. You know, for last stands, as last stands go, that was a pretty bad at last stand. I was expecting way more blood. Okay. Yeah, I just... Ah... Uh, I want to take it, but I don't want to take it. It's just like... It's just like... I don't know how to describe it, guys. I really don't, because it's like, I want to take it so very badly, like, so very badly. Okay, you move back there, because we need to make sure we have all those guys here. Um, a lot of my tank brigades are starting to be made. Um, we're going to start, I'm going to start small over here and start transferring out the troops slowly. Because we want to make sure we don't create too big of, of a shift. And marketing, we're also going to get economically, get more tax efficiency, because you know what, we need more taxes. The fact that we have this many people and don't get this many taxes, it's kind of sad. Okay, let me see. How many do we have to get out? Okay, so I'm going to take out one, two, three. Okay, so you guys are now depleted or deleted. Okay, there we go. A new arsenal division are now being constructed. Over here we have our warriors moving up. Yeah, I think I just stable. I think I just inadvertently just stabilized the Chinese. So it's almost like I should take the Henan province just because, just to take revenge on them, but I don't know, guys. I, I just don't see a point to it. If I must, if there's an underlying opportunistic reason, it's because I just don't see a point. Cut down the size! Okay! You know what? That just made it up. Yeah, let's do exactly what Mongolia did. Let's just cut down the size of China's already pathetic army. Oh my goodness, we are beady. We are the bullies, guys. We just we just constantly bully China. We don't even really care. You better accept everything. Nope. I want everything. I want you guys to be cut down the size, too. Like, it seems like that would be, like, the perfect and most brutally unfair punishment I could ever get you. I mean, you guys are getting humiliated, debunked. I mean, oh my goodness, this is like... It's the curse of the Chinese, guys. This is the curse of the Chinese. This is what happens when you guys cheat me out of a region. And when you cheat me out of a war. You never want to cheat me out of a war. Because that was... That was... The, uh, yeah. You guys understand. Long live China. You all dead. Go damn more. You all dead. You all dead. China, do you want... I'm only accepting everything. You know what? That's the only way this is going to be establish a very fair this is the only way it's going to be a very fair trade deal and f Spain can uh, not Spain what Mongolia is getting on a sphere of influence what who's fighting who's fighting for Mongolia like, uh, who's fighting for them Well, no one's fighting for them. What the? Oh, they, they have rebels. Oh. Oh, and I have troops up here. Huh? Okay, you guys go back here. I did not know I still had troops up there in Mongolia. <laughs> that was the longest mission ever. They've been stationed there for like hundreds of years. Okay, you guys are right there. Which is something that can't happen in EU4, not here. Because EU4 is just like that. You will forget about troops and you'll be like, shoot, I had them up there for hundreds of years. Or you'll be like, shoot, I should have used these guys when I had the chance. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just slowly, like, getting out this unit. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four units. Okay. Let's see. Let's delete four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. That actually completes the rest of my, uh armor brigades so now this army is my first modern army yeah and I feel really powerful now like <laughs> tanks airplanes we we are now just <sighs> oh my goodness oh my goodness 
I have nothing to say, people. I have nothing to say. I oh, now the Chinese are back to being this. Chinese. Oh my goodness. Fine. Western Mosia. So that's, does that mean... Oh, that's a very awkward looking Greece. The Turkey? Oh yeah, they became communists, so they became Turkey. And now the Chinese are no longer Chinese. That was a rapid switch from government to government. It's almost like as rapid as they did in modern day times from being a democratic republic to being a... new. You guys will give me all I want. Because... Basically... I own you now. You guys... are owned by me. Let's disadd this. Oh, they would not accept it. Aww. Alright. Well then, let's just accept this. Okay, we can accept that. Yay! Ah, uh, but I wanted to so make them... Like, just make them even bleed even more. I wanted to make China bleed even more, but... I guess, I guess that'd be too much, guys. I think that... I think at that point, we just crossed the line between being really... You know... You know, being defensive to being really like... Wow, we are just jerks. Alright. And now our border's expanded. Wow. Yeah, you see, now it looks really weird. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, all of our factories are kind of doing okay. At least all the ones that are going to crumble are going to crumble. At least we know which ones are going to die before they waste me money. Because I'm, substitu I'm subsidizing everything, so if it doesn't make me money, we know. We know, so. In fact, I think that's a good episode, guys, so I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.